The philosophy that people have is if I just work harder and burn off these calories and I'm more energetic, it's going to come off. That's not how it works. What happens when you exercise, all you do is you release hormones that get triggered 14 to 48 hours later in the deep sleep if you could sleep. That's how it works. So it's a delayed effect. It's not during the workout. So if you weigh yourself before and after a two-hour workout, it won't be anything less at all. It'll, it'll be like zero, even if you burn 800 calories. So the fat doesn't melt off. It's like a time-release thing. It's a time-release hormone sent to the blood that does all the work later. Okay, so this is uh, adrenal. Um, buffalo hump back here, because that's stabilizing the belly from falling forward. It's down here. This, the legs. The legs get thinner. Why? Because the body is stripping off protein, muscle protein, from the thigh muscle first. So if you watch the person get up from a seated position, they kind of, they get up a little more difficult. Also climbing is difficult for them because the front of the legs are getting smaller and smaller. Um, so the legs get skinnier and their midsection gets wider and then after the body starts eating up these muscles, it goes after the next muscle called the gluteus maximus. What muscle is that? Rear Your rear end. So we have a situation with that and a situation with the leg. Now you probably have seen people with like hips, thin waist, and then they get older and then no waist, all midsection. That is what happens. That's adrenal. Because adrenal gland backs up the ovaries during menopause. So they do the same work. How many of you ever fell on your tailbone before? Okay. How many fell on your knees? Okay. How many had ever had mono? Okay. How many had their tonsils removed? Okay. Now, we stack up all those injuries over time. We stack them up over the years. And then when you get 25, what happens? You start to wear down the adrenals, and then 30 starts wearing it down. And all of a sudden now, you have this high cortisol level, and you got all the stress stick sitting in the background. And you're wondering why it's accumulating in the midsection because the cortisol start going higher and higher and higher. That's the one that causes st stomach weight through here. So um, what happens, the old injuries that you had as a kid start kind of being reactivated as stiffness or pain. Because sometimes like later in life you're like, why, why do I hurt here? I didn't just fall down. It's being reactivated. Other things get reactivated too as adrenals go down, like mono. Mono is um, like a virus that you get in your tonsils. And the symptom that that will create later in life is uh, fatigue, tired, for no reason. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, for example, you, you need a lot more than 4,700 milligrams of potassium. Because, because adrenals are so tired, they're dumping the potassium all day long, dumping it right out. It's just coming in and out. So it's, you're wondering why people have problems. It's, they're not looking at the nutrient part um, of the picture. One of the things that we do is we, we, I just created a test, a computerized test that you can take very quickly. Some of you already took it to find out if you're getting your basic daily nutrients from the food. And then it tells you what food to focus on. So far, no one has got a perfect score. Um, now, some of you said, well, I did. I did because I took your test. You always one of the first ones who took the test. Well, there was a bug in the system with a decimal point. <laughs> so now we got that corrected. <laughs> like, it's like, because everyone's like coming 100%. I'm like, you just ate a carrot. How can, then I go, oh, we had a little bug. We corrected it. And then all of a sudden, like, wow, interesting. You know, you wait, you go to the doctor and you get a blood test. Everything comes out normal, right? Yeah. And he says, you're healthy. Mm -hmm. Come back in six months, right? Yeah. It used to be about dead to have anything show up on the blood. Yeah. So this, this test measures what's going in the body, not waiting for it to show up in a, ex, in, a, in a urine down the road, which is a lot more preventative. So that's valuable because I like, I don't, I like to prevent things. It's a lot easier than waiting till it shows up. So with adrenal, the calcium doesn't go into the muscle or it doesn't go into the bone, so it shows up as bone loss and things like that. The other place it'll show up is right in your, your trapezius muscle. So I want you to check the person in front of you. Check their muscles right here and see if it's hard. Go ahead and do it now. This is part of the drill, part of the exercise. <laughs> Thank you.
I can't tell. Well, she's fine. She's the patient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. You can get you can get your massage therapist number when you get down here. Just now the muscles, these muscles, these are the adrenal acupressure points, one of them right here. And also this area is the point where you have a lot of tightness uh, because of lack of calcium. It shows up here and right here in the calf. So the question is where all is this cal where does this calcium go? It goes on top of the eyes as early cataracts, on top of the joints as arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, heel spurs, plantar fasciitis, which is the pain in the bottom of the foot, um, twitching on the left eyelid right here. Um, also, um, calcium stones, gallstones, um, what else? Oh, artery placking, but the same. Okay, so we have adrenal uh, would be, um, oh, the adrenal loses collagen just like the thyroid. So you'll see your skin, you're losing, your skin is getting a little bit uh, thinner. Um, that would be more adrenal, that's stress. Your muscles, it's like you, you're losing that tone. That's adrenal. So calcium, oh, craving, salty foods. Give me an example of a salty food. Crackers. Chips, crackers, pretzels, peanuts, cheese, puffs, popcorn, popcorn pretzels. Yeah. Um, if you ever take a look at these, uh, the, the person's ankles, they take their socks up at night and see that little ring around the ankle. You should never see the ring around the ankle because that's fluid retention coming from the imbalance of sodium. Yeah. One of the things that I did to come up with some of these philosophies is that I I took what's known to be truth, right? And then I look at the variables, like the exceptions to the rule. Like how come it doesn't work in this person? It won't work in that person. And then I pull the string. And that's when you find a huge discovery behind the, the person it didn't work on. That's how you make these huge discoveries. So the problem is you have to have some persistence to keep pulling the string. You can't give up on the person like, oh, you didn't get well, see you, you know, bye-bye. So that's, that's kind of how I came up with some of the stuff, especially with some of the symptoms we're talking about. The next body type would be this body type. This is the ovary body type. Take a look where the weight is. It's down here, saddlebag, hip weight, um, ovary. Take a while to guess why I don't see very many men that look like that. <laughs> they don't have ovaries. Cellulite, that's estrogen. Estrogen makes fat superficially. Where does estrogen come from? Ovarian cyst, fibroid, excessive ovary production imbalance, HRT, hormone replacement therapy, birth control pills, plastic. plastic, don't eat plastics anymore, don't chew on plastic toys. Or, um, also, also um, soy milk. One glass of soy milk is equivalent to one birth control pill. I don't know if you saw in the paper, the guy was, he was drinking so much soy milk he started lactating. That was enough for me to cut down. The, the environment is so filled with chemicals, you are a big sponge for these things. Walking barefoot on the, the uh, golf course, I'm sure you don't do that, but the sprays and the, the chemicals in the food. There's a lot of people that come from other countries and move to America and they get large. Uh, I see them all day long and they, uh, I was fine until I moved to America. Welcome to America. So we have a lot of chemicals in the environment. So these chemicals go into your fat cells and they go into the liver and they start to overload the liver and, and the body and starts messing up with our own hormones because it destroys the gland. It starts enlarging the prostate and creates fibroids. That's, what comes, that's where it comes from. This is all in the book of toxicology, the study of poisons. Luckily, there are certain things that pull these poisons out. Does anyone want to know what that is? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, in a, it's in a type of vegetable. Can you take a wild guess? Cruciferous. Cruciferous. Yeah, that's right. The cruciferous family of vegetables naturally has compounds to deactivate these poisons. Mm 